But Stuart Robert is the Government Services Minister. He's the one responsible for putting together this app. I repeat, there is more information that you give over when you use things like Facebook or Google Maps than what they are talking about here. They're not talking about a location app, they're talking about a Bluetooth app. One where if somebody gets sick, they're able to work back through what that person did and tell everyone who they may have come into contact with. This is not a tracking and tracing app, like many would like you to think. This is not Big Brother in your pocket when you've already invited Big Brother in a much bigger way in via Google Maps, etc, etc, etc. We had a chat a bit earlier tonight. So all the app does is digitally replicate a manual process. No more and no less. So the manual process, Paul, if you catch COVID-19, health officials would sit down and ask, who are you with? Where were you? Let's talk back. And you can't remember the 90-year-old lady in the line behind you at Woolies uh, or the family at the swing that got a bit too close to you at the park. Whereas if everyone's running COVID Trace, the app, all the app does is connect the name and phone number of people who've been 15 minutes within 1.5 metres proximity of you uh, and makes that available to state health officials. So it speeds up the process by many, many days. Could you imagine having to try and get hold of CCT footage off, off Woolies to try and work out who the 90-year-old lady behind you is? Within minutes, state health has got the information they need to rapidly call other Australians. And think about if you were in the line behind someone else who'd been tested positive, you'd want state health to call you quickly as well. So people have this view that someone's going to be sitting there late at night watching 25 little million uh, uh, red dots moving around a map. Um, is this about real-time observation or just when someone gets it, trawling back through the information? So this is, there's no geolocation. Health doesn't care where people are on the face of the earth. It's only about how they trace. Uh, so if you test positive, the data will go to the data store, uh, state health will access it, and then we'll just call people that you've been in proximity to. And they'll give them a call and say, hey, Paul, uh, you, you, COVID trace says you were near someone uh, who has now tested positive. You might want to come in and have a chat, get tested, uh, etc. Et OK, I'm going to get in trouble for asking these questions, but I'm the one who's going to get in trouble, not you for answering them. OK, if there is a, a young person who, for whatever reason, uh, decides to purchase illegal drugs, um, will that information become known to authorities? No, so all we care about is who the person was next to. So let's take uh, your example of your drug dealer, uh, and they spend 15 minutes within 1.5 metres uh, of someone who's contacted the virus, uh, then State Health would give them a call if both of those people are using uh, the app and say, hey, uh, you've been in proximity, you might want to come and get tested. Because there's no geolocation, no one knows where the young person was or what they were doing. There's no surveillance at all. It's simply who they were near from a health point of view. So put simply, uh, will there be a scenario where um, after two weeks all of this information um, is destroyed because you're out of that two-week window? It, it roll, we're rolling on a 21 day. So, again, using me as an example, uh, the app is running for 21 days, collecting any information. 22nd day, the first day disappears. 23rd day, the second day disappears. We're evolving 21 days. So, only 21 days' worth of data is on my phone in an encrypted format that no-one can see. And if I never contract the virus and the pandemic ends, I delete the app. All the data on my phone is deleted, and, of course, I, as the minister, will delete the national data store. But if I, I get positive, uh, that data will go up to, to State Health. They will check it, go through it all. It'll sit there resident in the data store and will be destroyed when I, as the minister, destroyed at the end of the pandemic. Last question. Um, if only 5% of Australians download this uh, or agree to do it, or 10%, what happens? Well, we're 5% better off than we were yesterday. Uh, as I've been saying all weekend, Paul, this is really a big Team Australia time. If we want to loosen the restrictions and get back to the footy and get back to the beach uh, and get back to the movies and get back to restaurants, the Prime Minister has been abundantly clear we need to have more testing, more tracing. And the more Australians that download it and use it, Frankly, the quicker we're getting back to the footy, mate. All right, everyone. So they don't care if you buy drugs. They don't care if you're cheating on your partner. Uh, no. They don't care. They don't care uh, where you're spending your Saturday night. It's about uh, uh, the digitising and speeding up of a process that already exists.